Hey everyone, okay, so as most of you probably know who follow me on Facebook, I passed my driving test. I passed my driving test last Wednesday. First attempt, very pleased with myself. So I got some minors. The minors that I got um, were all in the section of being overly cautious. So that's kind of fine, better that than the other way. But yeah, I passed my driving test and it's it was an incredible feeling. I actually cried because it was uh, a case of so much stress had been built up and the release of that stress, not just from the drive, well, it's all about the driving, but the driving and other things that were affecting the driving. It was just this release of pressure. And it was, you know, it was an incredible feeling and one that I, I won't forget. I have been driving on my own now. Um, and it is a very different experience, absolutely. Um, but it's fine, I'm getting there slowly. I posted some messages on Facebook because the reason being is that I was actually really surprised with a lot of the comments. Um, and that's to do with joining, and I'm referring to UK, in joining dual carriageways and motorways. So in the UK, you can't drive on a motorway until you've passed your driving test. Which is really strange, but I totally get why, because motorways are more dangerous, but I at the same time, you're gaining your experience. So what happens is you get your driving license and now you're free to go on any road you want and the motorway, despite the fact you've never been on it before. And during my driving, the only time I joined a dual carriageway, and in the UK, dual carriageways tend to be anywhere between 50 and 70 miles an hour. The same with, um, and motorways tend to be 70 miles an hour as well. And I've only ever joined a dual carriageway from stationary, which means that I was coming up and then I had to stop and I had to join the cars and they were going at 50. It's a very different experience stopping and then looking into the horizon to know when you can go, as opposed to when cars are bombing past you at 60 miles an hour and you are joining into them. I've never done that. And I posted a message on Facebook, which basically said that this isn't something at the moment that I feel comfortable doing because I've never done it and that I need to get more instruction on it. I really need to get an instructor to help me through this process because I want to keep myself safe and I want to keep everyone else safe. And a lot of the comments were just like, you just need to go out there and do it. You should just do it. That to me is so insane because I have never done it before. As in, I've never been in that situation where I've had to join at that speed. Now, to me, it makes perfect sense to think, well, I can't, I've never done that and I wouldn't like to try it on my own. I think it's better I hire somebody. That makes perfect sense to me. But people are like, no, just do it, just do it. No, I'm not gonna do something that I'm not comfortable with knowing how to do properly. It is so strange. I have my license, I am legally able to drive and yet there is still a part of me that just needs more clarification, needs more information. And I do think if more drivers were like that, especially the learners who've just learned, it may be a better thing because I know where my limitations are and I know that this is an area that I have no experience with and doing it alone, probably not a good idea. I would rather have an instructor rather than a friend or somebody else. I'd rather have an instructor there who can help me. But I did pass my test and it is, like I said, a wonderful feeling. But I'm sticking to roads at the moment, roads that I'm relatively familiar with, just getting to grips of driving a car by myself. It's a very different experience. Driving at night is an incredibly different experience. And it, for, for somebody who's just learned, very, very nerve wracking. I find it very, very uncomfortable <coughs> driving at night. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It just feels really weird and, you know, odd and foreign. But there you go. I did pass my test. First time. Fabulous. Let me know. Anything you want to know, write it down there, make it kind and agree with me. Why would you put yourself in harm's way when you could just get instruction from a qualified instructor who can explain it to you? Because I haven't had it really explained to me. So there you go. I need help. I don't mind admitting it. Thanks so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.